Welcome to the Penance of Beverly Hills. My name is David Codney and I'm the executive chef. I know you're spending a lot of time at home right now, so I'm gonna teach you to bring a little bit of our luxury into your home. Today, I'm gonna show you how to replicate our iconic afternoon tea so you can do the same in your own living room. Part of afternoon tea is really the iconic lemon curd. Lemon curd sounds so uh, fancy, but reality of it is it's just like a lemon pudding. So don't be intimidated. We have egg yolks, we have whole eggs, we have of course lemons, we have juiced lemons, we have sugar, and we have a little bit of butter, all of which is super simple. What I do is basically when I juice my lemons, I zest the juice inside for two reasons. One is all of this citrus on the outside has this beautiful effervescent flavor to it, and it's really all the perfume. So we add lemons, right? Then we add our wonderful lemon juice. We're gonna add whole eggs, not to be confused with egg yolks. If you have a child in your house at this time and you wanna get some energy out, this would be the opportune moment. Beat these until it's smooth. Take some sugar that you have pre-measured out, not a problem. You're gonna whisk this into similar like a paste. So it's gonna be very loose at this moment. You're gonna stir this over a water bath. A water bath is a pot of water that's gently steaming underneath. It's gonna hit the bottom of your bowl. Make sure you use a Pyrex or something that's heat safe and it's gonna cook it. It's gonna take about 25 minutes when you whisk constantly. At the very end, when it gets a nice thick custard consistency, similar to uh, like lemon meringue pie, if you will, you're gonna add a little bit of butter. This butter is gonna help make it smooth, creamy, and sexy. Along with the lemon curd and Devonshire cream, there's a couple things that are very, very, very well known. One of them is a scone. So if you've never had a scone before, think of it like a biscuit, a very sweet, kind of a little bit denser, but still crumbly and moist. And if you can see our scones here that we have are the perfect size. All you need to know is that scones taste amazing and they taste amazing with tea. So we mix the flours together. So a little bit of AP flour and a little bit of pastry flour together. We take a little bit of our salt, which is very important because it's gonna taste good. Take a little bit of sugar as well. Take a little bit of our baking powder. Baking powder is important. You can use baking soda. You just have to tweak out the ratio a little bit. And all we're gonna do is kind of mix this together until it's very smooth. Everything's kind of mixed ahead. Take a little bit of my butter. This butter we've pre-cut into small cubes. You can do this, it helps out a little bit. Just make sure the butter's cold. When you do this, uh, what you're doing is you're basically mushing this between your fingers and this is working in the flour and the butter together. This butter is gonna help melt away and that's where you're gonna get the layers on the scones. Then we take a little bit of our milk that we have. And we take a little bit of our cream. This part is very important that you don't overmix. This is a delicate process. You're basically just gonna work it in. So it's gonna get to be about this point and you're just gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. It's just barely wet, barely forms. After it's rested for about 20 minutes, we're gonna take this dough, we're just gonna pat it down. We're gonna work it down to its side. Just use your hand. You don't have to worry about uh, getting a roller out. If it's too wet and it's sticking, you can use a little bit of flour. If it's too dry, you know, you're gonna add maybe a little bit of egg to it, but this part, you're then gonna fold it into thirds. So one third there, one third there, bring it back together, push it, Notice you're not rolling, you're just kind of patting things down and then you cut the shapes that you want. You can use a cutter, you can use a knife. The thicker you want them, about an inch thick, or I use from about the form of my finger to my knuckle. And then from there, you cut them into the shapes, you bake them off in the oven, 425 degrees for about 10 minutes. Along with scones, Devonshire cream, lemon curd, you have a couple other things that just must have. One of them is smoked salmon. I don't care where you come from, what you do, really the smoked salmon is, is the piece of this. We smoke all of our own salmon in house. Don't worry, uh, you don't need a lot of fancy ingredients. You can buy your smoked salmon, you can buy everything else. Uh, you can buy your bread, you don't have to make it. So what we're gonna do is just take some similar sourdough that you have at home. This is sliced bread. We use Pullman loaf, fancy term for cut lengthwise. And all you're gonna do is cut the crust off. Most tea sandwiches are crustless. I'm sure you'll find a couple out there in the world that aren't, but you're just gonna cut them off till you get cool little rectangles. Nobody's gonna judge you on whether or not they're perfect, and if they do, don't invite them to your tea. You're gonna take a little bit of parsley and red onion, salt. Then you take softened cream cheese. Why cream cheese? Why not? You can use a bunch of different stuff. You can cut this 50-50 with sour cream. You can do regular cream cheese. You can do 50-50 cream cheese butter. Traditionally speaking, all afternoon tea was actually just bread, butter, and toppings. Uh, very boring, so we like to do different stuff. If you don't like red onion, fine. Uh, you don't have to make it, but this is basically all the accoutrements that I enjoy with smoked salmon. So if you enjoy capers, now would be the time. If you like cornichons, now would be the time. So now that it's soft, it's mixed, very simple. You take your spread, your schmear, 
your bread and you're just gonna lightly coat this. This is gonna do two purposes. One, it's gonna keep the bread nice and moist for you. Two, it's gonna adhere the topping or the smoked salmon to this and I'm gonna show you how to make them look nice. Take smoked salmon that we have and what we've done is we've cut this thin but not paper thin, you still want some bite to it. A lot of people cut it too thin, uh, they buy machine slice, we hand slice all of our own salmon so it has a little bit more bite to it. Just wanna fill all the bread, right? You push it down, okay? And then with a sharp knife, all you do is trim up the edges. Then if you have a bigger mouth like me, fine, cut them in half. If you have a daintier mouth and you cut them in quarters, it's fine. These make for excellent chunks when you have people walking by and wanna steal your food, you give them little Scooby snacks, they're happy. We're gonna garnish with a little bit of dill. This is a great time to do a windowsill garden for yourself at home. And then I like to use a little cucumber just for a little added value. So there you have it, our iconic afternoon tea. I hope it brings some sunshine to your day. We can't wait to welcome you back to Beverly Hills.